What's up guys, Jay Brady here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Crossout, hope you guys are doing well. Today I got a very interesting video for you guys, I created a new account, so I'm gonna start a fresh Crossout account, and I wanna see what the grind is like, because a lot of you guys have been complaining, and the builds I usually show for new players are not something that actual new players can build. So today I'm gonna put that to the test, so we have our new account here, we're gonna log in for the first time, we're also gonna collect all the free pass, because a lot of people have been getting issues from getting the free packs and stuff like that so we're gonna get the free packs and see what kind of build we can actually make so we're a super fresh 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 build right now <laughs> okay we got a little mini beginners battle pass here and you don't really get anything special you do get a border and you, you get some decent stuff so nothing too bad for new players what do you get out of this thing parameters oh you get you get some weapons out of that box you get a cabin out of that box. So this is actually not... Are these fuse items? These are not that bad for new players. Yeah, those are fuse items. So I believe if you do these challenges, you get a pretty good start. I mean, it's not epic stuff yet, but it is not bad. It is actually not that bad. Okay, we got the shop, of course, with a lot of packs, spamming you with packs. So we are level one. Okay, so just like the tutorial, you can select all the factions once and just... Oh, we need to be level 10 engineers. I don't think that's going to be too long. So we're going to be level 10 and I'm going to come back to you guys. But before we do that, I'm going to collect all the free packs and show you guys the process because you don't need a fresh new account. You can use an existing account. Okay, so right now I am on one of my latest videos. My latest videos have the best link because sometimes they expire. So we're going to click all of them. One, two, three, four, five. There are more, but the other ones don't give you good stuff. We also have a code which you can redeem on the War Thunder slash Gaijin website. So we're also going to do that. All you need to do is open a new tab, uh, type in War Thunder, and you click this link. Okay, so now we're on the War Thunder website, and all you need to do is go to redeem code. It'll ask you to log in again or verify, and now it brings you to the activation key link. Okay, now I am a proud owner of the Crossout Peekaboo bonus bag. So let's see if I got it in game. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, Peekaboo. So I got this build now. So let's see here. Our part, maximum number of parts increased to 50. So now I can make a vehicle with like a 50 part limit, which is cool. So I can just assemble this right now and I already got it. What's our power score now? Still 2,500, so not too high, but we're gonna activate all the other codes as well. So let me switch scenes again. Okay, now we are on the Morgan's turn pack. So all we need to do is log in with our Gaijin account. Okay, it says, looks like I already have an account. Log in to get your bonus. So I'll just log in, confirm again. Okay, you might need to do this a couple of times. Okay, and once you're logged in, you can then redeem bonus. It'll give me, it'll download a launcher, but we don't need that. And we should already have our reward. So let's check in game. There we go. We got the Morgan Stern pack, so we can also assemble this. And now we have this build as well, which is pretty nice, which is also at 2,500 parkour. So we're going to do this with all of them, and we'll just do speed up the footage so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so now we're back in the game. We got the Kuplinov player pack as well, which is this vehicle. We got, congratulations, unique horn locomotive, unique hologram, uh, yellow gloss, and we got some more stuff over there. And that should be it. We got a ton of new stuff. Okay. And this is what I mean. You get a ton of new stuff as a new player. We got a bunch of stickers. We got a bunch of decor items which will help with our boost. And we can actually make a pretty decent power score vehicle at like 4,000 power score. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make something. I mean, we already got some pretty good structural parts from the get-go. And you'll just do this. I usually like this frame setup and then we can have stuff in the middle. For cabins, we get the growl, growl cabin, which is pretty nice. And then actually, let's put some... Uh, we got the chain, but the array wheels are really strong. We're going to start off with the array wheels. And then have the other array wheels in the middle here. And then in the back, we're going to have our chain wheels, because they are our second strongest wheels we got right now. Okay, uh, do we have a gun mount? I believe, yeah, we do. We have two gun mounts. Oh, that's great. So I think something like this. We might have our guns exposed, but that's not too bad for now. Um, we do have three sledgehammers. Yes, yes. And I actually want... 
yeah we're gonna run it like this for now do we have some bumpers as well we have one of each but we do have these pieces oh these are nice these might go see these are the high level parts you get with the free packs which new players do not get access to uh, we also have a bumper here we're gonna put this one in the front like this the bumpers are like really strong right now Ooh, we also have a big bumper we're gonna put that in the back like i mean this is a super super duper fresh account we don't have anything we got some pretty good parts there uh we got this fan door we might put that over here just for durability oops are over there for now but i don't think we need that we're gonna have to put our cooler down there we have one cooler we have an engine car jack okay so we're gonna put our car jack over here as well because a car jack is zero energy why not uh we're gonna put an engine here because you know why not because zero energy as well we already got three oh we're gonna use the white coolers as well because i believe we do have the energy to spare ah we do not okay that's it that's it for our parts there so i think that should be good already so let's make this build a little bit more pretty looking cool we got something pretty looking over here so what is our par score now we are almost at 4k par score with just three parts so that's what i'm talking about man you guys are telling me that low par scores like two and a half k but that's like starter par score our par score you can get up to 4k par score so this is what we got right now not bad not bad we don't have a lot of durability and we are 104 kilometers top speed and we still have oh our total part limit is already 65 with the free packs because i believe you start at 30 so let's see if we can add a little bit more all right our build is ready we are at 4000 par score we're using 60 parts 11 energy we got a decent amount of firepower yeah decent amount of firepower nothing's hidden or anything Hold tap okay that's fine so what I am going to do real quick before we fight... Uh, oh, I can't use the exhibition yet. Level 3. Okay, okay. I'm going to do two battles. I'm going to show you guys two battles. And then I'm going to level up to level 10. And just continue from there. Okay, so this is my first fight. And it looks like I am only going up against bots. So this must be some kind of patrol or something. And we might be entering normal battles at uh, maybe level 10 or something. I'm playing a little bit super aggressive there. Okay, let's uh, go back into hiding there mostly bots we do have a few human players let's get this guy real quick so i'll do this match and then uh like skip the grind to level 10 and see what it's like over there okay pretty simple pretty easy yeah pretty simple pretty straightforward oh we got some decor and that's what i forgot i forgot to put decor on my build so i can level up faster we got this thing I'm, for now, I'm just going to play some randomly just to level up a little bit faster. Um, yeah, this one. We have three purple. Oh, actually, we have four purple ones because the locomotive horn is also one. Now we're going to put this there and the locomotive. Oh, we, and we also have some tank life. That's cool. So right now we are at 16 uh, XP boost. Okay, we're going to add the two lamps as well. So what I want to do now is I have a starter built on my exhibition. I want to see if I have all the parts necessary to make it this thing. Uh, we're missing a lot of lunatic parts. Mm, so this is not really a starter build. You might need to grind out to lunatics level 4 or 8 and then you can make this thing. Okay. Actually, yeah, lunatics. Just level up lunatics a little bit and then you can make this thing. So what I am going to do now is I am going to craft a fuel barrel. Oh, I can't yet. What level do I need to be? I need to be level 6 for the fuel barrel, of, a fuel barrel over there and level 8 to get the bigger one. Oh, guys hold up i think this is my first match with actual players yeah there's this guy chasing me like crazy i think this is our ninth match so i believe after engineers level five you do get matched up with actual players so this is interesting oh my god okay we already get like <laughs> pretty good looking builds here uh, but this guy's way higher level he has more things than me let's see if we can take off his uh, cannons there Oh, he got me pretty good. Oh, wait, this is the first match I actually lost <laughs> when we faced actual players. Okay, okay. Oh, he has Omni Wheels and everything. What's his par score? 3k. I would really recommend new players to, like, save up for Omni Wheels. Those are really good, especially for uh, beginning builds. Uh oh Oh, what, what kind of scary build is this? Oh, God. People are making some <laughs> crazy builds at this par score. Which I like, I like, I like the creativity. 
or the creativity. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but he's too slow. He's using the trucker cabin. Ah, so our speed is our advantage, and we gotta make use of our advantage if we can. Of course, we cannot. There. There we go. They gave up. Oh, oh, we are nugget. Oh, yeah. Our frame layout is not the best, and looks like a lot of people are using borers at this bar score. I think. Yeah, but those builds are a little bit more optimized because they have access to much more structural parts that are better. Oh, wow. We are at 4,000 bar scores still, and we have two hovers on the enemy team. Yeah, I don't think hovers should be allowed under 5k bar score. I think that should be a rule. That's just my opinion because I don't, I don't feel like I can do much against a hover that is super maneuverable. We are winning, but we are struggling at the same time. We have two hovers left, which pfft, machine gun hovers using sinuses, I believe. Let's see if I can get him. Nope. He lost. Yep. He's just avoiding us. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, those builds are just dirty, man. Okay, we are at level seven right now, and we got access to a few more missions. We have wires, but no batteries yet. But we still need to be level 10 to access it. We even have clan wars. That's pretty cool, but no act, not access to hard rage yet because yeah, those are going to be impossible anyway. So let's continue to grind. I am almost like an hour in of grinding to level uh, 10. It is, it is kind of hard with actual players because they got some pretty nifty builds. Okay, nice. We finally reached level 10. Oh my gosh. I took like one and a half hour to grind to level 10. Which is not the longest thing in the world, but we do have access to a lot more things. So what I was talking about earlier is I can basically do this now. Join. And we get a bunch of parts. Close. Go to the next faction. Join. Get a few more parts. Close. Go to the next faction. Oh, okay. We need to upgrade that one. I believe Nomads. Join. We get a few more parts. And I believe those are the first three we get. We get the other ones a little bit later. What do we get here? We don't have access to this yet. All right, cool. So we made it to level 10 and I'm going to make a new build that we can use because it was kind of a struggle. I faced a lot of Hugin shotgun builds and a lot of borer builds with skinners, which were kind of annoying to deal with. So I am going to save this because we do get a few blueprint slots for free. And these are the packs I was talking about. These are the packs you get for free. They're pretty good, pretty good. Now, what I wanted to do is craft a fuel barrel, like I mentioned. We also need a radio, so let's craft this. Cool, and then we also need our fuel barrel here. The white stuff crafts instantly, but we also need a fuel tank. Now, I do want a radiator, so that's why I crafted the radio, but we're going to go with our fuel tank first. I did end up grinding some patrol to get our copper, because PvP with actual player was kind of rough, I'm not going to lie. It is rough for new players to face hovers, omni wheels at 4,000 bar score. Now, you could go with a build of 3,000 bar scores and you might not see them, but you know, it doesn't really matter to be honest, I think. So, I wanted to make a wedge build, but I don't have the parts yet that I want to use. I believe this, no, that's step of the scavengers give us a wedge. We get the train plow at level 7, which is not super high, and maybe the nomads give us the other one. Oh, level two. Though, so that's pretty early. So we could use this as a wedge and then had use the hatches as well to like ramp people and just change the front end a little bit. But the build would remain the same. Maybe change the placements of the guns, put them all in a single line. Like so would be cool if it actually works. Yeah, something like this would also work. But yeah, um, I just wanted to make this video to see what it's like as a new player. The grind is there a little bit and it gets kind of tedious. It is kind of boring, but it looks like they did try to make the new player experience OK, but they still have to face hovers if they reach 4000 bar score and Omni wheels and a lot of highly optimized player builds like a veteran players playing at 4000 bar score. So that I don't know how they're going to fix that, but it is kind of an issue. And um, I played a bunch of matches and it sucks dying over and over because of that Yugen shotgun build. 
So yeah, I don't know how they're going to fix that. I don't have a solution for that just to keep grinding and get better parts. Now, if you guys want to see me play this account more until get a legendary weapon or maybe an epic weapon, let me know in the comment section down below. If I have enough people reacting to it, I might continue this account just for a video. But yeah, that's it for today's video. It was kind of interesting to see. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, and leaving a comment also helps out a ton. And if you do all of that and follow me on Twitch, you can see that episode good deed of the day. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Peace.